Hey there, today I just want to talk about display performance really quickly in Adobe InDesign. So a common question I get from students is, why when I export to PDF do the photos look fine in my layout, whether it's a lookbook or a magazine or some other kind of editorial design or a poster, but in InDesign it looks a little bit lower quality, almost pixelated but not quite, so you don't have as much detail in the photos and that all relates to display performance so I have a photo here placed in an InDesign file and the first way to change that is we can right click over it and go to display performance and then set it here so if we set it to fast display that doesn't have a preview of the image at all of course so we can use this when for example your computer processor can't handle a bunch of photos that are high resolution really large photos in the layout and it's just thinking and thinking and it's just better to just have them here in the layout and no image preview. Um, I typically use typical display or high quality display. Typical display, it looks good and this is a high res large file anyway but if we watch the difference here, if I go to high quality it's just a little bit better, more tack sharp and focus. Now regardless, we can have it set to fast, we can have it set to typical, high quality, whatever. It's going to export fine. So it will look fine in the PDF or if you're printing it at a commercial printer, it's going to look fine regardless of the display performance because that is just related to the preview on the screen of the document. It's just about the display on our screen. So if you notice when we go to display performance, there's this use view setting. That's related to this up here. If I click on view and then go to display performance, and then here we have the same menu, fast display, typical display, high quality display. It also has allow object level display settings. What that means is this is saying, hey, if we have it set to typical display, but for one photo, uh, the designer manually just changes it by right clicking over it and sets it to high quality display or fast display, either one. It's different from the default that we have set here, but that's okay because we have it set to allow object level display settings. So those are not universal across the board for every image in the document. It's only for that one that we right click over and adjust or numerous ones that we adjust. And that it's grayed out right now, but if we had some ones that were different and we can clear those object level display settings so it only matches our default setting. Now we can also go to edit preferences and then display performance. Now on the MacBook, uh, I have a MacBook 2 and we go to Adobe InDesign in the upper left hand corner and then preferences and then display performance. That's one of the few differences between working on a Mac or a PC is where the preferences menu is. So again, PC edit preferences, display performance and on Apple, it's just the name in the upper left hand corner, Adobe InDesign then preferences, then display performance. Now here we have typical, fast, high quality, same type of options. Um, down here, adjust the view settings. So this view settings is up here, the view, right? But it shows us, and we can customize it a little bit more here. So if we go to high quality, that's set to be high resolution all the way across the board, right? So we could customize that right here, but I'm going to keep it at the defaults. You can also click use defaults. And some of these uh, relate to raster images. So raster images include, for example, PNG or JPEG, pixel-based images. So these are photos. Um, they could be designs and illustrations, but they're not vector images. And then how transparency, what quality that is displayed is controlled here. So if we change it here and we click OK, it's going to apply it to this document from then on, um, but if you want to change it just so that all future documents have that specific setting, just make those changes when you have no document open. Just close all your InDesign documents and then go to Edit Preferences on the PC or Adobe InDesign Preferences on the Mac and change it before we create a new InDesign document or open one. So that's why the images might look a little bit lower quality here in InDesign but they look fine in an exported PDF from the same file. Now, if your images look pixelated, that's a different story. If they look pixelated even at high quality, that means it's larger than the original dimensions of the photo. Say the photo should be much smaller 
we can make photos smaller in Photoshop or InDesign, but we don't want to make them larger than the original width and height dimensions because it can pixelate pretty quickly. Now, the other possibility is a missing link. So if you place an image and then delete it or move it, and it's a linked image in that it's not part of that InDesign file, that high res image is a separate photo that InDesign is looking for, you have to relink it with the links panel. So you go to window and then links. But those are different issues as far as pixelation and missing link. So this is about display performance. If it looks fine in a PDF export, but it doesn't look as high quality here in InDesign, it's probably the display performance. Thanks, and if you like this video thought was helpful, feel free to subscribe.